Hey all, welcome to the Institute and this week's acquisition report. Now this was a slow week here at the Institute. I only picked up three things. It's a couple of things that are on route, in route, but uh, we'll look at the three I did receive this week, starting with a Funko Pop. Now let me just say I hate Funko Pops. I despise Funko Pops. And yet I own a number of them. This is because there are certain licenses like Solar Opposites or Big Mouth where I wanted figures and I'm never going to get figures because Funko sucked up the licenses. And now that's all I can get. However, occasionally they do make a figure that is really cute. That actually looks like the character they're going for. Which is why I picked up Badgie when I saw him today. I'm not interested in any of the other Lower Decks Pops, but this Badgie actually looks like Badgie. It's really cute. And until we get the one from X06, he's going to make for a nice addition to the collection. So that's number one. Pretty simple. Badgie. Number two is from Indiana Jones. Now, remember, Indiana Jones, uh, we didn't get a whole lot of product. As a matter of fact, it was a drought for many, many, many years. That's why companies like Toys McCoy could do a 12-inch figure that wasn't even licensed and charged big bucks for it. However, then we had uh, Crystal Skull come along and we got a metric ton of Indiana Jones stuff, which is all over here in the green area. And then it sold poorly. And when Dial of Destiny came along, they decided not to do that again. One of the products that they produced back then Gentle Giant did these, started a line of busts for Indiana Jones. And quickly stopped after just three. One of the things we have gotten out of Dial of Destiny is it looks like they're going to do another line. And I got the one from the San Diego Comic-Con that I had decided to break down and buy. This actually came out with the con last summer, but I hadn't bought it then. I didn't get to go to San Diego this year. But when I saw the uh, Professor Jones, his, uh, you know, Jones Sr. that they're doing as part of this, I figured, you know what, as a completist, I better have the two indies to go with Professor Jones, Jones Sr. And hopefully, as you can see with the uh, Gentle Giant Lord of the Rings busts that are across here and all of the Harry Potter busts that are down here, hopefully we're going to see Gentle Giant and Diamond Select, they're working together on this. Produce more than just three this time. So yeah, that's number two, Indiana Jones Minibust. Number three, we're going to walk all the way back to where I was just a second ago. Kind of figure, you know you should have stayed there. But I didn't think of it at the time, so you know. Let's take another walk. And talk about this week's 112 Collective. You know, there's almost one every week. The way they're shipping these days. It's the White Ranger from the Power Rangers. You notice I've moved them down here with the Green Ranger. This shelf has plenty of room. I'm going to put the G.I. Joe figures. As you can see, we got started here with these two. And the Power Rangers on this shelf to start. We'll see who else might go down here. But here's the White Rangers. Good looking figure. Fits in nicely with the Green Ranger, of course. And we have the multi-pack still out there on pre-order, waiting to ship. Doom and Spider-Man should be shipping here pretty soon. Those will get added to the collection. Uh, and I noticed that the new Red Eye uh, Vortex uh, Gomez, who will go over here with the uh, Vortex suit and the other Gomez, uh, are now shipped, has shipped as well. So... So next week should uh, prove to be a big week here at the Institute. We should have a number of things uh, arrive that are in route. Hopefully your collecting is going well. And until next week, have a great one.